Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller, back with another service management leadership video. We thank you for joining us today, and we hope that this video offers value to you. The topic is business service management. It has to do with the services that we, the royal we of us in IT, offer to the business. And we want to talk about what are the objectives, why, the value to the business for us having in service form. And so, we, if we go back to ITIL 101, we know that IT provides value to the business through services. This is what this topic is. So, I have a few bullet points I want to discuss, but I wanted you to see it through that lens. And I do thank you for joining us on this video. Well, first of all, business service management allows IT services to be aligned with the business goals and objectives. That's important, isn't it? So we align our services in IT to the business services that allow the business to reach its goals and objective, objectives. In addition, in addition, it allows IT to prioritize the IT activities based upon the impact and urgency of the business service. So, you know, we prioritize the ones that are most important, at least we hope so, right? And it allows us to ensure the uptime of those critical business processes. Thirdly, it increases the business productivity, profitability through increased efficiency and effectiveness on the IT side. Because now we know what the goals are. We can structure our IT services, our IT department for those services, so it benefits the business in the best way. Fourthly, it, you have support requirements for the corporate compliance and governance, and so it allows IT to help the corporate compliance, corporate governance meet its goals. Next, we have create a competitive an advantage through innovation, through exploitation of technology. And I've seen many companies exploit and the innovation of their IT for their be the best interests of the business. I'm sure you've seen it too, where one business in a whole industry has the technological edge over all the others, and it's big. And so through these business services, business service management, we are allowed to do this, take advantage of this. Next, it improves service quality and customer satisfaction, and even one that's talked about a little bit in the ITIL books called user perception. That's a fun one, isn't it? Because perception is reality for those users. We also ensure the regulatory and legislative compliance. Think about all of those industries where we have legislative compliance. We need to make sure that IT and the services that are provided allow for that compliance. We ensure appropriate levels of protection, security on those IT and IT assets. That's important, right? How about ensure the IT services are aligned and continue to be aligned with the changing business needs? This is probably the most important one. If IT matches to the business needs today, we all know six months from now that'll be out of, that'll be, it won't be true. It'll be out of alignment, right? Because the business is always changing its priorities and its objectives. And so we in IT, through our services, are allowed to offset some of that, those changes by changing what we provide as services, whether it's increasing over here, decreasing over here, helping in some way or another. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. I thank you for joining us. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment below. We'd enjoy hearing from you. We hope you have a great, great day. Bye.